We know that a tankless water heater can provide endless hot water, but how much water is that? What is its maximum flow rate? The answer depends on how powerful the water heater is, and what temperature rise is needed. The difference between the temperature of the incoming cold water and the temperature of the hot water needed. This sizing decision is made easy with our sizing charts. Let's look at a sizing chart for our tempera whole house water heaters. First determine the temperature of the groundwater where the heater will be installed. This is important because it takes more power to make 52 degree groundwater hot enough for a shower than it does to heat 62 degree water to the same shower temperature. Next, add up the flow rates from taps that must run at the same time. This doesn't mean to add up the flow rate for every hot water tap in the house. Most households don't need to run hot water from every tap at the same time. The easy way to do this is to add up how many showers are taken at the same time. But if somebody must regularly use another fixture while somebody else is in the shower, then you would certainly add those flow rates together to get the maximum flow rate you need. But don't fall into the trap of thinking that you must add every tap together. Most people stagger household demands for hot water to work around the limitation of a tank running out. The comparable consideration for a tankless water heater is simultaneous flow rate. Once you have the maximum flow rate for your house, then check the sizing chart to see if the model you're considering can supply that flow rate with the groundwater where you are. For example, in Nashville, Tennessee, the groundwater is 62 degrees. A Temper 24 will supply a hot water flow rate there of 3.8 GPM. That's enough to simultaneously run two showers in a lavatory sink, or a kitchen sink in a shower. Easy, right? Click here for the next video on tankless water heater sizing, or check out our channel.